Okay, so we're going to be building today a community playlist page. Um, so why don't I take a look at where the app is at the moment. We'll run the back end and then also I can start up the front. Looks like the front's already running, so let me just open it one more time. Yeah, that's correct. That's for the main one and 144 hertz. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. That's running correctly. This is compiled and here's the app. So let's go ahead and log in. It'll connect me over to my identity server, which is running on localhost. Looks like here I was trying to attach a token, which I don't really need to do. Okay, here's our app. You can see we've renamed our currency here. I have a maximum queue length. It's querying right now my database for the songs in my queue. And it's playing. Um, so we want to, under playlist here, I want to have another section called community playlist, right? because this is going to be personal playlists. And then we want to make another component called community playlist. So in here, we're going to open up another terminal and I'm going to do an ng generate component. And we're going to call it a playlist community. Just a second, do I want that to be plural? Yeah, I do. Nicely done there, I fallen hope. And we need to put that in my module app. Okay. Now that I've generated that component inside of my app, I have a playlist community here. So let's take a look at a playlists and we're going to copy over our table here. And in this, I want this to be called playlists community container. And we're going to say that this is the community playlists. And we'll just have a table here, which will be based on data source which will have a playlist name, the owner, hey there, Le Chiffre, Le Chiffre, Le Chiffre, how are you doing, welcome to the channel, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them into the chat, this one here is not, we don't need the table, it's just the ng container, and we want this one to be the owner name, which will be called owner. And we can have this go to the users link, which currently doesn't exist, but we'll add it. This will be owner name. And then this one will be the queue playlist button, which looks good. And that's it. Okay, we need to add in here my TypeScript. So we'll start with the We need to add in these, mat sort and map. Good thing I have my computers on a battery backup. So we're gonna take these view sort, view child and move that onto the TypeScript here.
We also want to have one in here called a genre. Okay, and then we also need to have the displayed columns and data source. Which is playlist name, owner name, we'll just call this owner. Probably going to change to be a username like that. Okay. So on this, when I look at a playlist, I want to have a community playlist. Which has a I playlist in it. And then a is public. And a genre. Which will be a number. Now I almost just want to put that on playlist here, which I think is easier. So if I look at the code first, pardon me, if I look at my entities in here for playlist, I'm going to add a is public and a genre. Beth, we didn't get it. Um, we want this to be a, in the enums, a new genre type. And genre type shouldn't be an enumerator, it should be a table. So let's make a new table in here called genre. And in this it'll be a public, which inherits from base entity. And I wanna add in here a prop string called name and then a I think that's it and now we need to have something here called a playlist genre which is a public playlist genre of a base entity and we're going to do a playlist and a genre and we also need to add in the GUIDs for that called a playlist ID and a GUID for the genre ID. Now in this one Playlist, I need to have a number of these 
I collection of a playlist genre called playlist genres. Like that. And then also I want to add this one to the genre table. And now in the database, the application database context, I need to add in here a prop virtual DB set called genre. And then another one in here called playlist genre like that okay now on my view models so the first one here is a genre DTO which just had a name on it And then the next one was a playlist genre, which doesn't have anything on it. Okay, we need to have over here on the view models, a genre, which is a public genre view model called a base view model and this one has in it a i collection of your playlist genre dto called playlists genres Like that, sorry about that. Which needs to be a new list of playlist genre DTO. And then on my playlist VM, It's going to have a collection of these genres. Which will be a VM. So we actually get the playlist as well. Uh, no, just the... Uh, no, because we want to get the genres in here. And I never make a playlist genre VM. I guess I never did. So we need to add a playlist genre VM here as a prop. It's a public base VM. And in this, we want to have a prop playlist DTO called a playlist and then a prop genre DTO called a genre. OK, 
Okay. The next thing is we need to have a playlist but you want to add it to a playlist response so on this when a playlist here we want to have a prop i collection of a and this is going to be called a playlist genre create request which is a public class of a base request. And it's going to be a GUID of my genre ID. And this will be a collection of playlist genre create requests called playlists Play, uh, playlists genres and you also want to have on here the is public And now what I want to do is look at my auto mapper. And we need to add in here a playlist genre. And then this one here. And then we need to do this one more time for just, and I can just replace playlist here with genre. This needs to have on it a is public, as does the playlist DTO. Hey, Metathias, it goes great. How are you doing, man? Let me take a look at playlist now, just as the entity. Okay. So now when I look at I playlist, we have a is public here, which is a boolean. And then we also have a we need to have a I genre in here, which is a ID and then a name. And then we need to have a interface of these I playlist genre, which is a ID and a playlist and a genre. And this needs to be an array of these playlists genres, which is an I playlist genre array. Okay. So the next thing that I need to change is we need to have a method to retrieve 
the public playlists. So on my data access layer, I'm going to make a new function here called task of a I playlist array, and it's going to be called a read playlists public asynchronous. And I'm going to move that up here with playlist. And then in the hub for my open DJ radio hub, I'll add in here a public asynchronous task request playlists public. which we can add up here. And in this, we want to do a try and a catch. And we're going to do a var playlists public equals await my data access layer dot read playlists public. And then I want to do a return, um, await my clients dot caller dot send asynchronous my receive playlists public of my playlists public. good trying to find out more information about the platform you're working on here what's the elevator pitch check out here it's live let's see if it makes sense let's go ahead and rebuild the solution seems like I'm not getting some dependencies resolved here There is nothing called a playlist. It's a playlist VM. And then I need to implement that here. So let me go find the playlists. And we can go ahead and look for this one. And I can move this thing up and call it a virtual asynchronous task. Add in this. And here we're going to get all of the playlists where my is public and is active and then A second. And this is going, we need to include my application user. We also want to include the playlist genres and the songs playlists. Now that's not correct because what we want to do is this is called playlist public. Yeah, your tutorial video was informative. Okay, that's good. 
My God, Fallen Hope, that's so flattering. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, let me go ahead and get my playlist genre here. Playlists. So we're going to do a... For each of our playlist public and playlists public. Now we're going to do a var playlist genres equals await my context dot playlists genres dot where my s dot playlist ID is equal to playlist public dot ID and it's active and I want to do a to list asynchronously and Metathias it imports um, Spotify and YouTube playlists as well and we want to include my genre and then also we want to get my songs playlists equals await my context dot songs playlists dot include my song where my s dot playlist id is equal to playlist public dot id and it's active and we'll do a to list asynchronous and now that i've received all of this we're going to get my playlist vm here and call it vms and then for each one of my playlist public I'm going to add it to VMs and then we'll return it. And that should be it for the back end. We can rebuild it. Just a second. Let's see what we can do about this. If I look at the properties here, once this rebuilds, Um, 2.1 here Microsoft Entity Framework 2.2.1 2 so let's look at my manage NuGet, pa NuGet packages here Microsoft dot entity framework core core two point two one we can just install it. Maybe the best thing to do is to, let me take a quick peek if I was to make a new project as a core project. And I can change this to be a 2.1, so that's not right. I need to add an SDK here. So we want to look for this SDK we can just install it
So you know that this is a group listening platform, right? Are you, are, do, you, do you understand that that's what this does? I'm sure you do. So maybe we need to actually change it in the target framework. We'll take a peek. Let's reload this. Rebuild it. Okay, so I want to look at the CS project file. Two point one. Okay, it said that the data access layer is a different one. Two point one. Let me just make sure I don't show anything here on this one. 2.1 So try that again I'm about to go back in source control. Microsoft ASP.NET dot core dot app and it's pulling in too new of a version for app 2.1.1 so if I was to make a new project in here Why is it giving me Okay, what we're going to do is let's close this for a second. Let me open up my source tree. Let me, before I go any further, jump backwards in this. That one's okay. And this is where it's happening. In data access layer, we changed it. So if I open this back up,
and it was in this one if I open up the CS project this thing is now package reference I don't see where that's happening So yes, oh, it's domain code first. Here, 2.1.1. Now I rebuild it. Okay, auto mapper. Let's look at this in my NuGet packages for the solution. If I look at this, we've got multiple versions in here, so let me update this one to 8.0. Okay, we'll downgrade these to 7.01 again. Okay, we needed to do the same thing here. 1.3.1, see it, 1 1.36.1. Okay, let's go ahead and clean the package and rebuild it. I thought I told this to downgrade. Does the music player work yet? Yeah, so go to playlist add some songs to your playlist or you can just go to the queue and you can request songs in your channel okay let's go ahead and rebuild it now and what's the problem here This needs to have something called read playlists public asynchronous. Now everything works. All right, we're finally back in business. Let's open up my, this one is a startup project. And let me open up my tools package manager console. And I want to do a add migration on my code first. And we're going to say that this is created public playlists. And we'll add it. And now I'll do an update database. And then let's go ahead and close this one down. And this finished, right? There, it's executing. And now we can go ahead and do a properties and set this as multiple startup projects and start it. Okay, we're back in the front end. We've added in the genres. So now if I look back here, I'm going to have some errors in my components. The first one is in playlist community. I never finished this.
So where's I playlist? You have is public. You have your genres. So we can get rid of this one. So this is going to be for I playlist. And then we also want to add in the paginator and the sort. Man, what font am I using? What do you mean on here or in Visual Studio here? I'm just using the standard one, but here I can change it. I just changed the size to be 10 and then in the environment to be automatic. Whoops, I meant to say, I guess you have it set up for host, admin, and client guest stuff. I'm guessing that the guest of guest behavior as opposite. I'm guessing that guest of guest behavior is opposite to host admin behavior. There is host and guest. There's no admin at the moment. Um, you just host. I don't have an admin role, but that's being added in still. But yeah, that's all in there. Okay. So now back in here, when I do my hub service, which will inject. I want to do a this dot um, this dot hub service dot request playlists public. And then I need to have in here a subscription called a playlists public receive subscription, which is a subscription. I want to do in the on destroy. We need to do a ng on destroy and unsubscribe it. And then in my constructor, I can do a this dot playlist public equals my this dot hub service dot get playlists public dot subscribe and it's going to be a playlist equal and we'll do the lambda like that and this is going to be my this dot playlist equals playlists yeah it's not bad it's not bad for about 30 days of work total So now in hub service, we need to have a request playlists public. And then I want to do a new playlists public received. And then in here where I have my received playlists, we want to have one in here for received playlists public. And then I want to add the get here. Got it. Now we need to add it into my app routing module. right here, 
called Playlists Public. Alternate Glitch, thank you for that follow. Appreciate it. If you have any questions what I'm working on, please don't hesitate to put them into the chat. And then also I want to check my app module. Make sure I have it there, and I do. Now in my playlist component, we need to have a oh, interesting maximum number of songs is a string, right? which gets defined it's this dot hub service dot application user dot playlist song count plus songs like that This actually goes on your and G init. And then we need to have another one of these called a application user subscription. And I need to unsubscribe that. And up here, I'm going to do a this dot application user subscription equals this dot hub service dot get application user dot subscribe my application user. And then it's going to be this. My this dot maximum number of songs equals application user dot playlist song count plus songs just in case we update it. Okay, so back over here in playlist, we need to have a is public, which is a boolean. So now when I look at this, we want to have a is public, which is a boolean, and then we also want to have a number of my playlists genres, which is a I playlist genre array. You want a dark mode? I thought it looked so nice in the light mode. I can do that. On the board, we'll do a add dark theme. So is public is equal to this dot is public. Which is here and then we want to do a another one of these called is public.
And then we also want to add that in here. Like that. Okay. So you'd be able to turn it down, but yeah, it's cool. I'll use it. Awesome. Thanks, man. I have a big update coming here as soon as I get a little bit more done. Okay, the next thing I need to do is I need to load genres. So on here I want to have a genres is a I genre array equals that. And then we're going to have one here called playlist genres, which is a I playlist genre. And then I can do a playlist genres is this dot playlist genres. And we also need to add on my show column on playlist. It's called is public. No, that's that's it. On this one we want to have one more which is called is public. like that and then we want to have the it's a um is public is in playlists here already so we want to add it in here Back over here where I put this in a knit, we can put this up here. Okay. Here, we need to add in that when we close this and we create the playlist request I want to have my genres which is is public is my result dot is false because you're just adding it and then the playlist genres will be nothing okay the next one is in here so you have this as a playlist name, you have this as your application user called owner name. Which can be a link to there. We have a genre, which should be a list of genres, right? So we could do that in a table. So here I could do a table and I want to do an ng4 table. Okay, we could do it in a list. Or a table. Let me see. Ng4 
Angular CLI in a table. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. So here, I'm gonna do a table with a table row, and my table head will be the ng4 equals let, and it's gonna be a let genre of element dot playlist genres No, and it's just one of these, and it's going to be a nothing. And then we also need to have another row with a table definition in it, which is where I have my ng4 is equal to. And it's going to be a let. And if I look at playlist community here, playlist has a playlist genre in it let playlist genres and then it's um, of my element dot playlist genres and then all I want to do is show my playlists playlist genres dot genre dot name okay so let's add the names here we have playlist name we have username we have genres we're going to say that this is called genre.name so that it matches This one shouldn't be a sort. And then here is your queue playlist. And then you're displaying your paginator. So back here, we want to have my We also want to request the genres here, but I want to do a We need to have a queue. So I get that button from here, which is called queue playlist. Okay, we need to have a modal service, which is called a private modal service is a map dialog, if I recall correctly. We'll add in my confirmation, and if that is, then we're going to request to queue this playlist in the room hub.
It's not unknown. I see it right there. There we go. So let's go ahead and rebuild it. One thing I want to check is where you have this request queue and playlist home or whatever. When I do this, I'm getting the room home and queuing this playlist ID, which I don't care about this one. This needs to be s.active. This needs to be s.active. This one needs to be s.active. And now it should queue it to the room. So back over here, this compiled, we can log in. And we want to add on the app component a new it's going to be called playlists community and this is going to be called playlists community uh, public Let's change that to be community. Like that. And now I want to look at my icons for Angular material icons. And I want to look for one that I'm not currently using. This one, library music, looks good. Okay. Looks good. Community playlist, playlists community, playlists community. Man, do you have any guide for adding pagination to a real-time data page? Meaning I get the data from JSON API that updates every five seconds with Angular. Um, yeah, uh, what are you using? Are you using Material? Or are you using like SignalR? Or are you using data tables? Like what are you using for your... You, you have, I'm assuming you have your real-time data transfer already set up. 
So what are you putting this in? What's your format? I heard some of the Tokyo subway system are using material icons. That doesn't surprise me. So I don't ever see it updating here. Does it need to be capital? Okay, so it's not, it's, it's routing me there now, but it's not rendering. So if I look at community playlists, we go ahead and get rid of this one. And then we can check the back end to see if we're getting our playlist public. Okay, we are firing and I'm receiving none which is okay so that's working but over here this should be rendering let's get rid of this one Let's get rid of this one and let's get rid of this one. Let's really break it down to the basics here. Oh. That's why. No. Is it this one? It might be this username. Yeah, it was that one. So if I look at username again, and I just comment this line out and change it to be element.applicationuser.username, That's better. So it didn't like my link here to something that doesn't quite exist yet. Um, I need to add in my CSS here, which is this for the playlist name, the owner, which is called username, and the container playlists community container. Okay, so now what I can do is when I look at a playlist here, I need to add in, I could make this one public for example. Okay, it didn't update, so over here when I do my You have like an application, update application user. Oh no, it's a playlist. When you do this 
create an update. You're mapping it here from your create request, which is is public and your playlist genres. And then here you want to do your entity dot is public is equal to request dot is public. And then we also need to do a entity dot genres dot clear. And then I want to do a for each var playlist genre and entity oh, in my request dot playlist genres. All I know here is my genre ID, so it's a var genre equals text dot genres dot first or default asynchronous s where my ID is equal to playlist genre dot ID and s dot active. If my genre does not equal to null, then I want to do a entity dot playlist genres dot add new playlist genre, which is a, and let's change this to be a context dot playlist genres. And this is going to be a playlist here is your entity, your Genre here is genre. And let's just do this as an entity dot playlist genres. We'll add it here like that. And then here you're returning your mapper. So that's fine. We also want to do this in the create. Okay. So we'll run this now. And now you want to add a number of genres on this. So let's log out and log in. I'm very new to Angular and there might be some better way to do this, but right now it works. It collects the data and views it in the site with the updates incoming. This is something out here, let me know. Good, good. So you're using Ajax, okay or whatever their, their XHR requests are. Yeah, this looks good. I would look into Signal R so that you could use something event-based so that unless you need it to pull. If I go back to playlists here, I can make this public and save it. And now it's saved. We can see it's true. I go to community playlists. It's not showing me it here. It received one. Okay, you've got your playlist public. You're going to map them across to your VMs, which is one. Okay. Oh, so in playlist public, we don't want to get this. I want to get my, I probably want to get like a count or something, but we'll worry about that later. So let me just comment this out. 
And then also in my TypeScript here, after I get the data, I need to do this dot data source dot data equals this dot playlist. There's my playlists. There's my community playlist. No genres are selected. Let's look at this and we want to say that this is plural. Now what I want to do is I want to get my... We need to have another one in here. So let me get a new interface called I playlist genre, I'm sorry, I playlist community, which extends I playlist, which only needs to have on this a number of songs, which is a number. So back in here, this is going to be an I playlist community, like that, and that, and then. It's this one, and then here, and then here, and then there's a, that's it, okay? And then we want to have one more in here called number of songs. Which we'll call song count. So back over here, this needs to be a playlist community VM. Which is a playlist VM. And this needs to have on it a int called a number of songs. Like that. And we also want to have that here as a playlist community DTO, which is a public base uh, so playlist DTO called a int number of songs. which in here is an iPlaylist community VM. So here what we want to do is a VMs and then I want to do a mapper to my playlist community like that and then I want to do a VM dot number of songs is equal to my 
count asynchronous called songs playlist count like that and then we can return my VMs okay on my interface I need playlists here, read playlists community, like that, which is read playlists community, and then playlists community, and then we'll say request playlists community, and then community. Back over here in my hub. Get playlists. Community. Community. Here's another one. Looks good. Okay. Let's give this another run now. Oh, we have to do one more thing. In my auto mapper, I need to have a playlist community. And in this one, it's just going to be the DTO to the VM and then these two. And there is no playlist community create request. So there it is. Okay, now I can start the back end. Can take a look at the front end again. And when I look at this, I should get a count. Oh, I didn't get one. Hold on, what happened? Something's going on here. Let's see what's happening. Okay, we get my playlist public, which I get one, and then I'm getting my count of my songs. And then I'm mapping from a playlist to a playlist VM. Oh, you never did the VMs.add VM. That's all. There it is, and we get our song count now. So let's finish our CSS here, which is that we have this one with username, with let's look for dot mat column. Well, We'll just do them individually. So we have username, playlist name, we have number of songs, we have genre, and then finally we have Q playlist.
Looks better. Okay, 